Hello and welcome to this week's video roundup. My name's Sean O'Neill and I'll be taking you through my three favourite science videos of the week. First off, we know that men can get pretty possessive of the women they desire, but it turns out that male fish get wary too when they spot competition swimming up. Tamsin Osborne dips her toe in the water. Researchers are finding that male mollyfish play it cool so they don't have to share the fittest females. When a lone male molly was surrounded by potential mates, it would try to have sex with large, fertile females. But if more than one male was confined to the same area, they checked out the wallflowers they'd previously ignored. The researchers think it's a ruse to deter other males from pursuing prize females. It's the first study to show this type of behaviour in animals. Next, we take a look at a robot that can position an injured limb at a perfect angle. This 3D image of the inside of a finger was taken inside an MRI scanner. It may look pretty sharp, but if the finger is precisely positioned at a 55 degree angle, it's possible to see tendons that are normally very hard to image. The new robot saves time by moving a patient's arm, leg or finger into the optimal position in a matter of minutes. Currently, doctors have to position a patient manually, which can take up to two hours. The device is powered by an air turbine driving plastic gears. It had to be built from materials unaffected by the strong magnets inside an MRI machine, and that's no mean feat. Finally, detectives hunting serial killers may soon be able to make a beeline straight for their homes. Sandrine Kirstenmont picks up the trail. Serial killers usually commit crimes close to home, but not too close. They leave a buffer zone so that nosy neighbors don't recognize them. Similarly, bees have a buffer zone between their foraging area and nest to make it hard for predators to find them. Biologists set up this fake meadow of blue and yellow flowers and monitored bees as they brought artificial nectar back to their nest. Then the scientists produced a computer simulation of the bees' movements, where the gray dots represent flowers in their foraging area and the black dots the ones that they visited. When they combined their model with algorithms used by the police to find serial killers, they accurately located the entrance to the bee's nest. The researchers hope their detailed observations of bee foraging patterns will be used to refine the police technique and help solve cases like the Jack the Ripper murders. That's all for this week, but if you're still hungry for science stories, there are plenty more on the website. For example, you can watch a new simulation that reveals that the first stars were giants or explore an interactive map of natural disasters that we triggered. See you next week.